Okay, let's do a little bit of study of light on an object. This is a, a willow stick. It's basically just a natural branch that's been baked in an oven. And it's very soft and very movable, as you can see. You can just move it around easily doesn't have much of any binder in there, just its natural properties. How about a little highlight? Just taking my trusty eraser. We can revisit that. Cast shadow. Maybe you can guess I'm drawing. Actually, I'm not drawing. I'm shading a sphere. I'm not drawing any lines. I'm just blocking in values. The five environments of light are highlight, body tone, body shade, notice that I'm leaving a little crescent moon shape at the bottom of my sphere, that would be called my reflected light. No hard lines here, just a lot of soft edges. Smudging with my finger. Picking out the highlight. Notice I don't like to put the highlight right to the edge. I like to round it back. body tone and below this girth right here is the body shade the shadow an object throws on itself I'm putting this in dark room so that create a little drama and the darkest part of a cast shadow is usually right as close as the object is to the surface it's casting its shadow on. Right about there. Maybe a little darker here. And I think I'll lighten up my table. Surface. Nice thing about a kneaded eraser is you can just clean it up and pinch it to a shape. about all you really need to know. The five environments of light. Highlight, body tone,
add a shadow, reflected light, body shade. You can always liven up your drawing by adding some descriptive line work, contouring lines. This is a round sphere. This is just like air. And this is my table. Voila! Now, you can do the same. And you can next put a coffee mug in front of you and draw that as well. Happy drawing!